Nazis did to the Jews was what I'm speaking about. Now let me tell you if the Jews of Germany would have said this is really our country and the Germans have taken it from us and when we get strength and power we'll take it away from the Germans and call it Israel then there's an equation but the German Jew wanted nothing more than to be a very good German. He wanted nothing more than to be a German citizen with German culture and everything German. How can you compare that to what the Arabs is? The Arab sincerely believes that the Jews have stolen the country from him. When the Jews began to come in in, in, in modern times, to the land of Israel, which was called Palestine, there was a majority of Arabs there. So of course the Arabs are angry and upset. They believe the country's there. Now, it's not there, but they believe it is. And of course they sit and, and, and they're angry. And of course they say openly, when we become the majority here, to peaceful means, we will change this country into an Arab state. Kind of comparisons. Are you ready to let them do that? Rabbi Axarat speaks about let's bring Jews to Israel. I can imagine that he's ready, ready to leave Tuesday. Nobody's going to Israel, and this red herring about the fact that because Israel doesn't welcome the non Orthodox Jew, what a red herring that is. What a red herring. Do you think that the reason why a reformed Jew doesn't go there is because his rabbi can't, can't marry him there? The reason why American Jews don't go to Israel is because life here is good and there's a flesh pot here. That's why they don't go. And if the reformed Jew wants to change Israel, you're invited, every non-Orthodox Jew here is invited to go to Israel and vote the Orthodox out of office. So there is no Aliyah, Jews are not going there, and there is no birth rate, because the only ones that have babies are Orthodox Jews. Are you prepared to allow the Arabs, hypothetically, just hypothetically, assuming that they were a majority through peaceful, democratic means, are you prepared to let them and put an end to the Jewish state? I would hope that you are not ready to. I would hope that you would say, I don't care. Nothing will put an end to my Jewish state, not Arab bullets and not Arab babies. I don't want to kill Arabs, and Arabs will be killed every day in Israel in five years when it erupts into a Northern Ireland. Two months ago, at Mount Scopus campus, Hebrew University, 200 Arabs, sang the PLO National Anthem. And part of it speaks of liberating the Galilee with blood and with spirit. They're not talking about the West Bank, they're talking about the Galilee. Is that what you want? I want my state, and I want an exchange of populations. 800,000 Jews fled Arab lands beginning in 1948. That was step one. They left behind every penny. Nobody paid them a penny. That was step one. We took in the Arab, the uh, Jews. Now it's time for step two. 
We took in the Jews, give them the Arabs, exchange of population, but I'm better than they are. I'm ready to offer them full compensation. <laughs>